Oh. Hello, potato. The big day is very nearly upon us, so I thought today we would do some caroling. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. That's been made by Spam. Yes, Spam limited edition figgy pudding. Now, normally this is the sort of thing that when I hear about it, indeed, when I did hear about it, I assumed this would not be accessible to someone such as me. This is the kind of thing that you have to like jump through hoops for or win a contest or, or be a, an influencer with one million followers. And so I, I really didn't think I'd be able to get this. And then, uh, you know, I went over to Amazon and looked and sure enough, it was there, a two pack for like 10 bucks. Now, unfortunately, as you may be able to tell from looking, um, Amazon did not send this in the, the best possible way. They sent it in a poly mailer. The sort of thing that, you know, Disney likes to put things in to make sure they get good and bent up before they get to you. Yep. Amazon did that with my spam figgy pudding. So uh, it's not exactly mint condition for a limited edition item, which is unfortunate. Now, I have never had actual figgy pudding. Indeed, I, I tried to get one for this video so we could, you know, see if there's any similarity between this and that. But all I could find is fruit pudding, Christmas pudding, vine fruit pudding, I think was one, and like, I'm reasonably sure that some or all of these are figgy pudding, but I didn't want to entertain a bunch of comments going, well, that's not figgy pudding, that's fruit pudding. And so I just, I just didn't bother. Instead, we will uh, actually try to cook something with this. Cause you know, I've, I've done cooking things at the holidays before. But let's look at this, take a look at this. Uh, spam, limited edition, figgy pudding, flavor, spice, and everything nice. So, yeah, I really don't know what to expect here. Uh, I will say also, aside from being disappointed that Amazon kind of messed up the packaging, I'm also disappointed that the uh, the packaging, the, the cans, I was kind of, I, I honestly had kind of thought to keep one of these and put it on the shelf, like once I take the spam out of it. But uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but unlike normal spam where it's printed on the can, this is just like a shrink label put over an empty can, which is unfortunate. So, I mean, there's, there's no point in trying to save the tin. I guess I could save the label, maybe add it to my little thing of, uh, of beer labels. Not really the same thing, but I mean, we could do that. Yeah, so we're gonna try Spam Figgy Pudding today and then I think try to cook something with it. Uh, I found a recipe when I was looking, this, looking at this originally for spiced Dutch baby pancake with Spam Figgy Pudding and cranberry. So we're gonna make that today. Uh, is Dutch baby, is that okay? Is that like an insult? Is that like like Welsh rabbit? Is that a thing like a name that's meant to uh, insult the Dutch people? Like, cause I know the, the thing with like Welsh rabbit supposed to be that the Welsh are apparently don't know the difference between rabbit and cheese toast. And which I mean, obviously is, is horrifically insulting. Or do you like the fact that an Americano is uh, espresso and water cause only an American would think that's a proper coffee drink. So is that like a, is that like a, a, a slur on the Dutch? Should I be saying that? Should I be saying Dutch baby? I mean, it's, I think this recipe came from Hormel. So if it's okay for them to say it, I think it should be okay for me to say it, right? Well, I'm sure if it's not, somebody will let me know. So here is what is in our Spam limited edition figgy pudding. Uh, pork with ham, sugar, water, salt, modified potato starch, spices, natural flavor, propylene glycol, water, tannic acid, natural flavors, contains maltodextrin gum, Arabic sodium nitrate. Honestly, that is a uh, a much less involved ingredient list than I would have expected. I don't think I've ever looked at the ingredients of Spam before because it's, you know, it's one of those things you just really don't want to, uh, to know about. Fully cooked and ready to eat hot or cold. Slice Spam figgy pudding and heat as suggested to fry. Fry slices in a skillet until golden brown to bake to broil. So um, I guess we should cut this open and, or pull this open and uh, see what we're looking at here. It looks like from the picture, it looks like very dark spam, although that could just be the way it's cooked. So let's uh, crack it open. There's no turning back now. We've broken the seal. We must do something with it. And well, that is, that is not the most pleasant color of meat I have ever seen. How's it smell? Still smells mostly of normal Spam, which is to say it kind of smells like um, Vienna sausages, which isn't a bad thing. Let's see if we can get some out. 
I do smell a little... I do smell some extra spices in there. Let's, uh, can we get this out of the tin? Come on, out. Out! All right, let's see if we have to if we can pry it loose a little bit here. So, yeah, I mean, normally, I'm not a huge spam person. I mean, yeah, I do have a spam ornament on the tree. I don't know if it's actually on camera right now or not. Um, but, you know, I like, I don't mind, like, you know, some, some fried spam can be quite good. You uh, use it on, like, breakfast platter, like a crunch wrap sort of thing. You can dice it up and put it in a salad or noodles. It's uh, pretty good. And, of course, I like masubi. I've never made masubi, though. I should do that one of these times. I know I promised, like, way back at the beginning of this channel that I wouldn't be turning it into a cooking channel, and I don't intend to. But, you know, I kind of just do whatever interests me at the time. Anyways. All right. So this is getting, um... Oh, oh there it goes. So this is getting ridiculous, but we got it out now. All right. There is our not exactly attractive looking loaf of spam. Yeah, you can see like the spicing in there. I don't think normal spam usually has so many black bits in it. It just kind of smells of spam. So let's, I guess, just cut off a little hunk and give it a try. Okay, it just looks like, like ham with, or not ham, doesn't look anything like ham. It looks like spam with extra stuff. Let's give it a try. Wow, that is weird. It is very strongly seasoned. I can definitely taste the uh, taste that seasoning, the spices in there. It's very strong. It's interesting that there aren't like any any spices listed, just as spices. Uh, it's a little salty, of course. It is spam. What is this? Is not the reduced sodium spam either. What, what's the sodium in this? Probably pretty bad. 26% of your day for two ounces and there's supposed to be six servings in here so what 12 ounces mm, you could do worse all right so obviously I'm not going to be able to make spiced Dutch baby pancakes with spam registered trademark figgy pudding and cranberry butter here in the void space I need I need a stove and I need an oven because we need to First, we need to cube up the Spam and brown it, and then make the Dutch baby and put it in the oven for a while. So let's grab our aprons, head into the Void Space kitchen, and make us some spiced Dutch baby pancake with Spam, figgy pudding, and cranberry butter. Let's go. All right, so we are in the Void kitchen now, and I'm being joined today by Mrs. Void. She's gonna help me on this because we're using her skillet on this. Uh, first step is to cube the figgy pudding spam because we need to brown it in a skillet. I think uh, you think like about that. Some decently sized cubes. Sure. All right. So let's do that and then we will put it in the skillet. See, this uh, this stuff feels very much stickier than a normal spam does when I slice it up. So let's all right. So it's not the most beautiful cut job ever, but they are into little vaguely cubish shapes now more or less. So now for a nice little trip to the skillet. Okay, so while our oven is preheating to 425 degrees, I'll probably put the uh, picture of the recipe somewhere in the video that I cropped off the uh, website that I got it from. I'm pretty sure it was from Hormel. Maybe it's been a news story, I don't know. Um, we have a need to brown our little cubes of Spam. And then we are going to make a batter. And it actually smells really interesting while it's browning. Uh, it you know, kind of smells like Spam coming out of the tin, but uh, you put some heat to it, you can smell the, uh, the spices a lot more. 
What do you think? Mm. No. Oh. What do you think it smells like? She can't smell it, but I can smell it. You've never had figgy pudding either, right? Yeah. Okay, so neither of us have any idea what this is meant to taste like. So, I'll uh, finish browning this, and then we'll go back over to the counter and do the actual making of the Dutch baby pancake. Okay, so we've gone ahead and made the batter here. Uh, what this is, is three eggs, Beat until frothy, and then you add a half cup of milk, a half a cup of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And beat for two to three minutes until it is nice and smooth, which it is. Um, also, so before we move into it, we should probably try the cooked Spam, just to see what it tastes like. I, I tried some uh, cold in the, uh, the void space, but now that it's heated up, we should give it a try. Piece for you. Piece for me. It's very much a very softer squid, very oily. The, sp my, the spice smell is much stronger now that it's been cooked than it was in the can. They're very oily on the fingers. And it's weird. It's, it's spiced spam. It's very weird. But not, not unpleasant. It's not bad. But it's definitely different. So we have our batter made. Now we need to melt our butter, which was the... There's two, two different things of butter in this. Uh, this one is a quarter cup. It says to melt it over medium heat, but you know, I'm just gonna put it in the microwave. It says to put it into the cast iron skillet. After it's melted? No. In okay. a pinch, cast iron skillet over medium heat, melt the butter. So guess what? We're gonna we're gonna melt it in the skillet, but we're not gonna move the camera for that. Here is our 10-inch cast iron skillet. We'll get it all coated in butter and put it all together. Okay, so our butter is melted. And see, those taste at home box things do come in useful. And that trivets from one of those. So now I can put my hot skillet of butter over here without damaging the counter any further. So Got our butter in there, we need to pour in the batter and scatter half of the Spam figgy pudding cubes over the top. So you're gonna put the batter in, give it a good scrape down. I think it's also the first time I've ever had a Dutch baby. You ever had a Dutch baby? No. There's like a place nearby that's supposed to sell like really good ones, but we've never gone there. I think they'll open for breakfast and lunch anyways. The sound is probably dreadful, isn't it? Because I'm a moving place, I don't have a microphone attached to me. All right, so let's kind of divvy up half of our spam there. And pour in the other, so scatter. So, wanna just grab a handful? Sure. Pan should be cool enough now. about half I need to talk by the camera that's about half of our spam figgy pudding mixed into this mixture and this is going to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until puffed and golden brown so let's pop that in there and uh, get that cooking all right so our Dutch baby is in the oven for 20, I might present for 23 minutes, kind of in the middle of the 20 to 25. We'll see how it looks at that point. And while we're waiting for that, we do need the topping for it. Because remember, it's, it's a Spam, Figgy Pudding, and Cranberry Butter. So for that, we are gonna mix two, sorry, no, a quarter cup of softened butter and two tablespoons of cranberry sauce in a bowl. So, 
pop in that, dump on that, and then I think a spoon probably would work for this. And then we just need to combine them. At, and you know, the, that's the thing with the uh, Americans, we keep our butter in the fridge and so it, it does take a, it's a little more work to do anything with softened butter. It's been sitting out for like an hour, but still pretty solid, but we can work with it. See, the point of this is that it gives you something to do while the rest of it's cooking, because it doesn't really seem to be combining super easily. Okay, so I reckon that's about as uniform a color as we're gonna get out of this. So we've got our butter ready. Now, since you can put in um, maple syrup or powdered sugar as well, but those are optional. So we're gonna, I think, leave those out for this. We're gonna try it with our cranberry butter. And as soon as it's ready, our Bam Figgy Pudding Dutch Baby Pancake. So, uh, yeah, nothing to do now, but wait for it to finish cooking. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes since we put the Dutch Baby in the oven. Uh, it does not look like it's going to need the full 23. So we've gone ahead and taken it out. We've got the rest of our Spam here. We've got our Cranberry Butter here. Let's bring over the Dutch Baby. Here we go. One more space there, I think. Now, for those of you who've ever had a Dutch Baby before, because I, I haven't, what do you think? Is this what a Dutch Baby is meant to look like? Uh, we didn't really get an even rise. We had some rising in the center, though. The Spam there is seems uh, nicely cooked. All right, so we have it cooked. Now we need to top it with the rest of our brown Spam. Get that on there. I can kind of see why you'd want to maybe put powdered sugar on this. Not so much maple syrup necessarily, but the powdered sugar. And that's it. That is our Spam Figgy Pudding. Well, sorry. Dutch Baby Pancake with Spam Figgy Pudding and Cranberry Butter. So all I'm left to do is try it. Let's get a little bit of, little of butter. Let's try over here. Just a little there. And... Here's a knife and a fork for you. Thank you. If you want to put some on a spot that you want to dig into. Make sure you get some Spam. Make sure you get some Dutch Baby. It's very crispy. On the bottom, it feels like. Listen to that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. The camera's probably not picking it up because the microphone is faced towards me. But it's a nice crunch in there. It's a... probably going to be a little difficult to get off the bottom there. But you can see it has browned up quite nicely. Got some of the butter on there somewhere. Let's give it a try. Well, I can definitely say it is unlike anything I've ever had before. That is a, uh, a new a new flavor for me. It's not bad though, I wouldn't say it's bad. I'm going back for a second bite after all. So I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's uh, definitely unique. The cranberry butter adds a good um, sweet and tart taste to mm -hmm. it to cut out the uh, saltiness of the Spam too. Yeah, I didn't get enough butter on my first bite. That second bite with more butter on it is definitely better. Uh, balances out, yeah, the saltiness, adds a little more extra flavor. But I, yeah, I can definitely see why a person might want to sprinkle powdered sugar on it. I, I still think no on the maple syrup, though. I don't think, I don't think the figgy pudding spam and maple syrup will play terribly nicely with each other. But uh, I would say this is a success. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to make it again next year because I don't think they'll have spam figgy pudding next year. But I wouldn't say I wouldn't make a, a Dutch baby again. I don't know if I make it with meat. I mean, is that, is that even normal? Is that a thing you normally put in Dutch, in Dutch Baby is meat? Because I want to say I've only ever seen them kind of being just kind of plain with like syrup and whipped cream and stuff on them. Like in pictures, obviously, because I've never had one. But like in pictures and on menus. 
Let's go try that place that sells them. But that is our our Christmas treat for this year. Dutch baby pancake with spam figgy pudding and cranberry butter. I hope you found this all interesting and entertaining. If you did, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.